I was trying to remember Corbusier and I was remembering the whole city and trying to combine the two and see whether I can make something else out of that by using local materials, by using local techniques and local crafts. Yes. And then on the top is like this. If you go to the old houses, you will find very tiny places this high. And so they become very nice rooms. They become very useful like this. So this is the kind of house and then of course you can create a climatic diagram. If you see here, this projection is more than this because this is the east, this is the north, this is south and this is west. So west sun is more, so you need more shade and more overhang. So all these things are slowly to go on adding. It's like layering, you are adding the layers. You study one thing and you fit, can I add this? Next. So this is the house with the veranda here. These are the brick walls. Again, this wall is a cavity wall. So that it insulates. This is what the shelter comes. This is the light comes from the side. This was the extension I did there. This is how it began, you can see. Surrounding was like this then, all open land. So you work with the barren place, convert this with the garden, work with the climate and then work so that during the day you close the whole place and you get the natural light from the side. Evening you open up and you have an open space. I think maybe they should see this house. We can work out for this. Ah, and work out that part. Yes. Next. So this is the entry here. This is the place. Other thing that you saw, you know, in the uh, Indian Bonoras, that they become multiple use spaces. All the spaces become multiple use. We use the space in many ways. Very fundamental difference between the West and East is that the space is all in the mind, anthropocentric. This can become bedroom, this can become a class, this can become a part of a restaurant. It depends on how you use the space. Only kitchen and a bathroom you can't change, but the rest you can. So this is a very important thing that we don't treat space as totally unifunctional. The space is always multifunctional. Combinable, separable, used at different times. So you can see now the house is open, the door and one is connected to the garden. Next. You can open this with the fly mesh there and you get, this is where the light comes from with the daytime. I will show you what it's like next. See there is a light which comes from indirectly here. You get a lot of light like this. Next. Next. See, these are the natural lights. This is the basement. But the whole idea is, it's very hot in summer, 